You, when you add the word professional to a product name, it better be a solid appliance. In the case of the Frigidaire Professional FPEW3077RF, we, re pleased to report that seems to be the case. It does a remarkable job of cooking food perfectly and has just the right amount of high-end features, including a gliding rack that S.A. dream to use, though it is a bit on the more expensive side for a wall oven. It is not nearly as costly as similar models from Viking and Wolf. In fact, our most notable quibble with this model is that it can be a bit loud. You, the Frigidaire Professional FPEW3077RF oven is sleek and would probably feel welcome in any Pro Chef S kitchen. Its stainless steel finish is attractive and fairly smudge proof. Though we did manage to leave a few hardly noticeable marks on the front panel. Admittedly, we sort of forced the issue by swiping the same area on the oven repeatedly, occasionally with greasy fingers. Open the oven door and you, I'll see one of its more thoughtful features. The glide racks. A glide rack is a thing of a beauty in an oven like this that will likely be used to cook big items, such as casseroles, chickens, hams, turkeys, etc. The glide rack is a sliding mechanism on the side of the rack that lets you pull it out with ease. Granted, the oven only comes with one of these racks, but that is really all you need for an oven this size. Besides, the standard racks tend to slide in and out of the side levels quickly and easily. You, wall ovens have a standard width of 24, 27, and 30 inches. The FPEW3077RF meets the largest size requirements, measuring 30 by 25 by 28 to 3 eighths of an inch. Width, depth, height. If you you're not sure if the oven will fit in your space, no problem. The Frigidaire website has a handy, will it fit online tool to help you figure it out. Unfortunately, the tool only seems to work with Frigidaire models. You, like many professional ovens, the Frigidaire foregoes digital controls for traditional knobs. It is a good thing too, since the small portion that is touch controlled is a bit buggy. To set one of the two touch screen timers, you will find yourself pressing repeatedly in various areas on the screen until you hit the right spot with just the right amount of pressure. That 